Welcome to Papa's Custom Cars. So we're uh, finishing up the camera installation for the new security cameras. Um, pretty neat little, uh, pretty, pretty neat little units. Take you over here real quick and show you the, the screen of the three out of the four that I've got up. Just haven't figured out where to put the fourth one yet, but here we are. The, the screen gives us a nice, nice view of the driveway and, of course, the front door. Fourth camera will be in a hidden place, of course. That way uh, we can see it. But one of the things I want to show you is the ability to watch these cameras. As something moves by, the cameras follow them. Pretty neat. Then after about five seconds, they go back to where they start from. This one takes a little longer. I think I've got it set at eight or ten seconds. And it'll go back to its normal position. And anytime anything moves out, by, out in front of those cameras, they follow whatever it is. It's pretty neat. So definitely something for you to look at. They're the smart camera, or the Wi-Fi smart camera, I should say. Let me grab the box. But uh, it's the Wi-Fi smart camera. that you have real-time, real-time, uh, and it follows motion, like I said, and you can, you can look at it on your phone. They are really neat. I'll walk you outside so you can kind of see. How they work. I haven't finished up the main. I've got the main just sitting on its normal settings. That way I could get everything set up. But I ended up with a half inch hole in the walls. I've got one camera low here. That watches the front door. It's also lighted. And then you've got the outside cameras. And if you'll pay attention as I move, so does the camera. It follows me. So no matter where I am in the driveway, it'll follow me. And it'll follow me right over to the other one sees me, and it follows me. So it's kind of a neat little setup. So if you're definitely looking to upgrade your cameras, this is a really nice system to do it. Now uh, that one I see needs to be tightened up. It's not all the way against the wall, so I'll get to that. And then, of course, I've got to remove the old ones over there. Some of the old cameras I'm keeping, I'm just replacing the hard drive in the unit. But uh, I'll just have to place the just have to place that last camera, and those will be all done and ready to go. So that's kind of to give you an update what I've been working on the last couple of days. Um, didn't really get much work done on the Nova, but next week I've got a five-day weekend uh, with the holiday. I took a day off in front of it and a day off behind it, so I could have lots of days off. And that'll give me a lot of time to work on the Nova. Um, but for that, for now, that's pretty much all I've got for you. Um, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to know anything about these cameras, shoot me a note. I've been playing with them for about two days now, just kind of setting them up, getting them working right. But they are pretty freaking slick. Um, I like the way that they follow, so I don't have to have, you know, four cameras watching the front. Anytime anything moves, one of those two cameras sees them and automatically follows it, and then the other one will grab a hold of them and continue following them. So... Like I said, i got one more camera to put up. It will support up to eight cameras, and eventually I will have eight cameras on it. But that's just kind of give you a breakdown of uh, how it all sets up. And it is wireless, so it makes it so nice. The only wire you have to run is a power wire. So if you place them where the nearest outlet is, which is where two of them are already at, uh, it made it real easy. So like, share, subscribe. Uh, anything you want to see, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, all I'm doing really on the car itself the last few weekends but I'm not videoing as practicing TIG welding. Um, it is not something that's as easy as it looks on uh, uh, when people are doing it. But that's what we'll be working on over the next week. Get practice up. Once I kind of know what I'm doing, I'll kind of share with you what I've done. Uh, and I brought up my MIG welder and blew some holes and stuff. And now I'm taking the TIG and trying to fix it up. So like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you um, in about a week with another video. Um, I am going to post a couple of short ones. I've got some uh, cars and coffee ones that i got to put up. And then I can't remember. There's another one that I, that I videoed that I'll get, to, uh, I'll get out there for you. But I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe.